why do we need this language when the Second Amendment has existed in the federal constitution for more than 200 years? Why do we need to add this to the state language, Representative Winshield? Uh, there's multiple reasons. <clears throat> Number one would be that Iowa is one of six states that is completely silent when it comes to protecting a person's individual fundamental rights to keep and bear arms. Um, the other thing that I would highlight is everything that we see going on today. Um, and it's what you, uh, Kathy brought up about uh, Justice Stevens advocating for the repeal of the federal Second Amendment. Iowans deserve protections in our state constitution because the constitution is a contract with the people to say this is what your government cannot do in restricting your rights. And with us being completely silent on, in our constitution about the right to keep and bear arms and the natural rights to self-defense, I believe that's a disservice to Iowans. So that's why I believe it is ultimately important that we give Iowans the final opportunity or the final say in having that in our state constitution. I, I did not support that resolution. Um, we did offer an amendment that would have adopted the federal Second Amendment to the to the Iowa Constitution, and we thought that was more applicable. Um, I think our, this House Joint Resolution is extreme. Um, I think it goes a little bit further than it goes further than our federal Second Amendment language, and we know that was up for for an amendment, and, and that amendment failed. Um, I, I think when you, when you look at things, if we're not looking at it holistically, I think we're doing a disservice. And to push it that far, we're opening ourselves up to be in a situation in which further gun reform that would be more common sense, um, it's gonna make it extremely difficult to pass that. And I think we'll also be caught up in litigation in our court systems as well with challenges to this.